How you feeling this morning, Roscoe? You feeling good? Frisky. Frisky. Roscoe went out for prime rib dinner last night, and so this morning he's feeling frisky. But it is Saturday morning. It is only like 32 degrees outside. Well, your truck says 35. Mine said 32. I don't know that either <laughs> one of them are right. But uh, it looks kind of gloomy. It ain't bad today. But it's supposed to get up to like 41 degrees today. And the good thing about today is we don't have all the heavy wind we had yesterday. Yesterday was crazy with all that wind. So we're going to uh, we're gonna go see what we can get done. We're just finishing up the church right now, Randy's church down here. Uh, I just wanted to get a little footage of this blower. What a phenomenal piece of equipment this is. And uh, it's just the key. Keep labor costs down, you know, and speed. Make, I mean, we cleared this whole property in 20 minutes. You know, he cleared this in about five. Just, just a great, great piece of equipment. And uh, I would highly recommend it. I'm, it's just well worth the investment. Ferris has definitely stepped up their game with everything, along with their standard mowers, which I am gonna be purchasing come spring. And, uh, we're gonna do a lot of upgrades and I'm gonna to try to get Mr. Randy here on board by a stander. But uh, yeah, we did all this here. I mean, just phenomenal. Fast, fast, fast. I mean, we can't even get equipment on this uh, mowing equipment to bag this up, but the blower just blows the leaves. There's a little residual here and there, but it's just so wet. And uh, we might get back here to do one final vac up, but other than that, this property's pretty much dead. I can feel it Somewhere inside haunting Like a drug I keep on wanting There's a love that fits so perfect It's hard to believe There's a reason I can feel my heart stop beating And the air gets tough just breathing I'm alone, but I'm still feeling like someone's with me. It's strange. Time is unfair, cause I know you're out there somewhere, patient waiting on 
feeling like your grip might slip too soon but i'm running chasing speed and gunning i'll be right there all of a sudden i feel your heartbeat lead me straight to you there every year usually we use backpacks and we walk this whole thing this whole area out here we walk it to blow all the acorns and all the tiny little sticks over to the edge of the tree line when we get done uh, bagging up all the leaves every year and this year we don't have to do that with that Ferris I mean it's leaving this yard clean all the acorns all the little sticks everything blowing it all clean right to the edge of the wood line but we have that there everything up around the house this whole fence line all the way down you can't even see the road but the road is way way down there at the very end and it gets packed you can't even see that whole grass line all the way down it's it's like two three foot high and sloped at an angle all the way down this is uh, this is the second load, Ryan's 18-foot trailer here, and we pushed them in a few times with the mower. That's the second load. Now, mind you, that's after it's gone through my mower and Ryan's mower, all mulched up, chopped up, and um, mine mulches it up even better than than Ryan's because I have the Versamo, the X blades on that walker. So when I dump that hopper, it comes out like dust. It's it's so small. Um, but then we have this whole big area here that was full of leaves and it goes all the way down usually we take like I don't know three to four loads out of there we usually get them all blown to a line and then use this plow and push them up on the trailer this year we decided we were gonna try mowing them and mulching them up and see how that goes we got it done just as fast if not faster I would say probably faster and we're taking far less out of here so each time we go to unload it makes it a lot easier and faster on us because we're able to unload faster um, because when when we just have them all in a row and we use the plow and push them up on there they're full-size leaves they're wet they're packed in and it's a lot harder to unload them because we use the backpack blowers to blow them off the trailer in this field that we're allowed to unload at um, so it just makes it a lot easier because with them after they're mulched up through the mowers and they're on there they blow off the trailer so easy so it's a lot faster and we're making a lot less trips so it definitely helps out but uh it's nice to have this one in the books we might have to come back one more time because there's still a bunch in the trees but that might not even happen but if, if this has to be the last one this is as clean as we leave it every year probably cleaner you 